Hello, welcome back. This video is on controlling 4 channel relay board using XP. At transmit end, we use 4 push switches to send uh, digital data. We will be sending uh, low signal while pressing the switch. At uh, receive end, we use a 4 channel relay board for receiving this data and operating the relay. So 4 uh, relays are operated and uh, if load is connected to this relay contacts, the load will be operated in turn. This 4 channel relay board is low enable relay board using optocoupler. There will be a jumper connecting VCC and JD VCC. You have to remove this uh, jumper and use both the supply 3.3 as well as 5 volt. First let us uh, assemble the transmit side. 4 uh, numbers uh, push switches required. Uh, plug the 4 switches onto the breadboard. This switches, uh, this push switch has got four pins we'll be using only two pins of each switch the first pin of the switch is connected to 3.3 volt through 10k resistor and second pin is connected to ground so normally this uh, uh, pin connected to uh, digital in will be high and when switch is pressed it will become low now let us connect all uh, 10k resistors to pin 1 to ground first one second one this is the third one 10k to ground and finally fourth one and uh, this other end is connected to 3.3 volt ground pin uh, 10 is connected to one rail of breadboard and all uh, second pins of the push switch to be connected to this ground pin to the first pin of all switches we have to give the data inputs so connect four wires uh, each to one switch we will use D0, D1, D2 and D3 as uh, uh, digital inputs. D0 to first switch, D1 to second, D2 to third and D3 to fourth switch, first pins. So when the switch is pressed, low is transmitted. At the receiver side, this type of relay board is used. This is a 4 channel relay board. You have to remove the jumper and uh, uh, we have to use VCC as well as JD VCC each uh, relay has got a uh, optocoupler this is the circuit for each relay when the input is low this optocoupler will conduct and in turn this will drive the transistor which will drive the uh, relay connected so if uh, load is connected to this relay that uh, uh, load will be on when input is low so this is low enabled there are four su such inputs i n one two three and four now let us connect the VCC and JD VCC after removing the jumper VCC to be connected to 3.3 volt in this uh, USB base board the 5 volt and 3.3 volt both are available at this point if you do not have this type of base board you have to arrange for some 5 volt supply so that the relay board will operate correctly now VCC is connected to 3.3 volt that is the third pin VCC and uh, first pin is 5 volt that is connected to JD VCC ground is connected to ground and uh, all uh, digital outputs that is connected to oh, IN1 to IN4 so D0 is connected to IN1 D1 to IN2 D2 to IN3 and D3 to IN4 this is the connection at the receiver end All are low enabled when a low is received the relay will operate now let us do the uh, parameter uh, settings in first XB open the first XB settings the my uh, AT my is one two three four uh, DL is five six seven eight and go to D0 and set it to digital input that is DA3 same way do it for uh, d1 d2 as well as d3 if you are using at commands do it as at d03 at d13 at d23 and at d33 and uh, ic and the most important is uh, change detect ic that you can use the bit field calculator provided here so change it to be set for the d0 1 2 and 3 so the hex value will be f 
and then ATIT number of samples is one and then ATIR uh, will send samples every 200 millisecond that is set to C8 we can use the uh, time calculator in the XCTU itself now click the right to write the changes and go for the second XP that is the receive XP and here the my is 5678 DL is 1234 and then uh, go for uh, D0 D0 should be high normally as the relay is low enabled it sh this should be set as high initially you do it for all the four uh, digital outputs d0 d1 d2 and d3 all are set as high initially and then the at ia from where you receive the uh, data that is one two three four that is a my address of the send transmitter xp now click on right now let us test click the first uh, button the first relay will operate same way two three and four the corresponding relays will operate at the receive end so transmitting digital four digital data and at the receive end the corresponding relays are operated and if any load is connected to this relay board the load will operate this is how to transmit four digital data by IO line pausing